friends, new and old, it's your friend Chip, and welcome back. We've got another My Little Pony 40th Anniversary Edition, and we have the My Little Pony 2-pack that has the Mini Glory. This was found at Target, and I haven't seen it anywhere else. And we also have the My Little Pony Rescue at Midnight Castle. This is super duper cool. I love this one. I found this at Amazon. Rescue at Midnight Castle was the first My Little Pony I ever saw. And it came on a VHS that I still have in my My Little Pony collection with um, my very first My Little Pony, which was Firefly. So that really started everything for me with my little pony i saw that and i was like wow i gotta watch all of this i gotta have all of them it was amazing so we're going to take a look at both of these this one right here has a cotton candy and a blossom and they are pearlized so that's why i decided to get this particular set because they're different and i already have originals of these and then on top of that i have what was it like the 20th anniversary and then the 25th anniversary and then the 30th fifth anniversary and all that stuff they just bring these out over and over and over and over again every few years and i don't need to buy one every single time that it has a different anniversary number on a box uh, so if they were different ponies i would definitely have invested but these ones i got because they were different with the pearlized versions in there and then of course we had our little mini glory that is also pearlized which is really cool and on the bottom we can see the upc in case you need it if you're looking for it at your little target or somewhere else and then this is the rescue midnight castle box the original 1983 collection we've got moon dancer applejack bow tie twilight medley and firefly and then of course we have scorpion up here and we heard mention of scorpion in g4 but we never got to actually see him and on the side here, it has Twilight and Spike. And it says Spike, it's sold separately. And we know that these little ponies are going to be blind boxes. So he's going to be in those blind boxes, I would say. And then there is Bowtie. On the back, it has a rescue at Midnight Castle. And right there is the castle. And these are the weird dragon creatures that Tyrek turns the ponies into with the power of darkness. This is the anti-rainbow of light that the ponies have. And there's Tyrek, and we saw him in G4. And the ponies of Dream Valley are enjoying a peaceful day until they are suddenly attacked by monsters coming from Midnight Castle. When Firefly finds out that their friends have been kidnapped, look at this, been kidnapped, there's no space there. She takes to the sky to find help. The courageous ponies set off on a daring adventure to rescue their friends before it's too late. <sighs> oh. And there's all the ones that we have in this collection, Medley, Twilight, Applejack, Moon Dancer, Bowtie and Firefly. And we got to see a G4 Moon Dancer as well. And she looked pretty similar to this, except for she had glasses, you know. But she was pretty cool to see uh, in G4 as well. Very cool. Here is the UPC in case you are looking for it. I'm not sure where you can find it other than Amazon at the moment, but that is where I found mine. And both of these are really cool packaging. Now, I don't know if I will keep these guys displayed in this package or not, uh, but I think I'm going to keep these guys displayed in this package because 
This packaging is so cool. It's not original artwork. It's a new artist, but it's still really pretty. I really enjoy the packaging. If I didn't keep it in the package, I think I would display this box like this, and then I would have the ponies displayed back here so you could see the T-Rex. Very cool. Let's see how easy they are to get out of the packages and then put back in the packages if that's something that you wanted to do. Yay! Okay. We opened everything and got everything out of the packages. When it comes to this one, the one from Target with Blossom, Glory, and Cotton Candy. This one is very difficult to get into. This is really attached right in here um, to make that particular look that it had, so this all has to come off. Um, in order to get the ponies out, you kind of have to move this a little bit to get them out. And there's plastic pieces holding them in. Um, when you take the brush out right here, as soon as you cut the brush, it falls and everything falls, so you wouldn't be able to put that back here. When you take out Glory, if you don't want the plastic pieces here, the way to get those out is you have to open this up and they are taped in here. Um, so this is a little bit of a difficult package to take apart and get the product out and keep keep the package if you want to display it in the package. So I would say this is probably not your best bet for opening this one and putting it back. You're not gonna be able to put it back very well. Um, so if you want to have one out of the box and you want to have one in the box, I would suggest buying two. Um, I'm gonna keep them out of the box and they're different enough to me that I know that these are the pearlized ones. Um, this box, I took it apart so it can fold up. Uh, so I've got it so it can fold right up like this. And I'm just going to put this away in my my Little Pony packaging portfolio. I have like an art portfolio I bought from Amazon. I have one from Michaels and Hobby Lobby. Michaels and Hobby Lobby are really great places to look for a portfolio. And then when you get that big zipper portfolio or just one that opens at the top, you can just slide all of your packaging in it, zip it right up or you know, slide it behind something easy, easy to store your packaging if you want to keep your packaging. I keep all of my packaging for my, my Little Ponies or um, Monster High is another one I keep the packaging of because I love the artwork so much, um, but I don't want to keep them in the boxes. So I have all my packaging, so later on down the road, we can go back and reminisce about the toys and take a look at the packaging and all that fun stuff. So this will be saved it's just not going to be able to put those guys back in what we did get out of the inside of it is this really cool kind of like i don't know barn backdrop uh, so i think we'll try and use this again and the midnight castle set this came out of the box really easily all i did was cut the tape here on the bottom and open it from the bottom instead of the top and slid this out and the pony just popped right out and it slides right back in you'll be easily be able to put them back in now the toys or the toys now the tails have this little piece that goes on top of them so that it pushes them in place and then when you're putting this sliding it in and out of the box their tails aren't going to go Woo! and get all mushy gushy so you'll be able to put them back in and just pop these right back on and they'll go right back to display so you can open and take it out and play with it and put it back easy peasy with that one all right so from the pearlized two pack from target you do get a cotton candy her tail is super soft her hair is super soft and she has a little bow on the back and it is attached to a piece of elastic like sewn to it 
So that way, this is always going to keep its shape. You can take it out and put it back in. I think eventually, in say another 40 years, maybe this elastic will die and we'll just be left with a bow and we'll have to glue it on or sew it back to another piece of elastic. Uh, we can see Cotton Candy's cutie mark, which is all these little dots. I never understood why this was Cotton Candy. You know, they're always kind of named after their cutie mark look or whatever. I never understood why she was Cotton Candy, other than she's pink. But this always looked like snow to me. She's got pretty little purpley blue eyes and her forelock right here is gelled. So this is hard and crunchy. If you wanted to wash that out, I'm sure it would be fine. But they have gelled it to keep it separate. And on the bottom, we can see 2017 Hasbro made in China. The Bridge Direct on this foot. And My Little Pony on that foot. Interesting. Bridge Direct. And these are pearly. So you can see the shine. I love it. Love it. There is our cotton candy, and here is Blossom. Now, I really like Blossom in this pearlized color. I think it looks so pretty in her purple and like this grayish purple. And she's got little flowers, little white flowers for her cutie mark. She's got a white bow, and her hair again is really soft, just like cotton candies. And she's also got the gel in her forelock, so you'd have to wash that out if you didn't want that. And all the things on the bottom of her feet say the same thing. 2017, My Little Pony Made in China, and the Bridge Direct. They're kind of hard. I mean, not too bad, but they're harder than what My Little Ponies were when we were kids. That's for sure. Super cool. Who was your favorite out of the main six when they originally came out? Mine was always Bluebell. I think the last time I bought a like reproduction of them, I think the only one I bought was a Bluebell. I think that was when like Basic Fun was doing like the different sets of them. And I just randomly got Bluebell because she was my favorite out of those main six in the beginning. Then I'd have to say like Snuzzle was really cool because I always loved the gray uh, on her. And of course, Minty because she was green. If it was a green pony, I was going to like it. Uh, and then it did come with this shooting star comb with the 40 years on it, just like what we got with the Celestial Ponies. If you haven't seen that unboxing, make sure you stop over and check that out. Woo! So there is our 40 year comb for that. And then this one came with this pearlized glory in the little mini figures. And I love these. These are so cool. So we can see her cutie mark right here. And it is on both sides for these little minis. And I love that about them. Her face is like painted on there or well, I mean, I don't know how it's put on there. Probably like a little sticker or something, you know. But her eyes are on there pretty good. She looks good from the front. Uh, her horn is silver. So she's got the sculpted mane and the brushable tail. And we'll just take this little brush because these guys don't come with a brush. But if you got one of these brushes, you can easily just brush the tail if you wanted they're really cool they remind me of the little petite ponies that we had in g1 y'all remember those i had a couple of them 
and I remember so the stairs that from my parents house the house I grew up in the stairs that went down to the basement um, you would open a door in my dad's office to go to a stairwell that leads you down into the basement and those stairs didn't have any back to them they if you dropped something it would go through the stairs and into whatever was underneath the stairs and my dad had all kinds of stuff stored underneath the stairs that were just random things that he would need or chose to keep for whatever reason and I would when I was little I would carry these little petite ponies with me I also had um, darkwing duck figures that I would carry around that were small like this and I remember carrying one of my little petite ponies down those stairs one day and dropping it down the hole in the stairs and into boxes down below and i remember it being like a box that had newspapers or something in it and i freaked i was like she's gone she's gone forever i'll never find her again and my parents were like you know we're not gonna find it and all that stuff she fell down in there you know it's fine and I remember when my parents moved out of the house I grew up in and got a different house. And I was helping them move and clean out. And I always thought, I wonder if she's down in that stuff down in there. And I never found her, never found her. So I don't know where she went, what happened to her. Maybe a rat ran off with her, who knows. Uh, but I lost the petite pony under the stairs in my parents' basement. Um, I had one that had, uh, she faced this way and she had really curly hair. I think she was yellow or like a golden color. And she had, I believe it was purple, um, really curly hair. And I can remember just going like this with her tail because it was so cool. And I loved the texture of it. And these were great because for me, hair play was always really relaxing doing this with the pony's tails just running your fingers through it i'm sure that people who are doll collectors or even my little pony collectors will love will understand the love and the comfort and like the calming effect of playing with hair um so that was really comforting as a child to have one of those little petite ponies that i can keep in my pocket and i could just have a little something with hair to play with because Carrying this in your pocket was a little more difficult. And honestly, when I was a little in elementary school, I brought a My Little Pony to show and tell. One time I was so excited. And I can remember all of the kids making fun of me for bringing in My Little Pony to show and tell. Uh, so as a kid growing up in the late 80s, early 90s, it, it, it definitely didn't go well that I liked My Little Ponies or brought them to school and, and people made fun of me and um, didn't know what to think of a boy that liked My Little Ponies back then. So these little petite ponies were really nice for me to carry in my pocket so I could still have a pony and most people didn't know, you know, that kind of thing. So these remind me of those and I think these are super cool. I can't wait for the blind boxes of these. These are going to be so cool. Uh, I can't wait. So she's really awesome. I love that. I love that she's different from all the ponies that we get in the set. So if you buy both of them, you get an extra little character. Now, I don't know if all these characters are going to repeat in the blind boxes or not. At this point, we don't really know exactly all the characters that will be in the blind boxes. And if we do have repeats, I don't know if maybe they'll have a different finish. like. She's pearly, and these ones are, are not. So maybe she'll be the only pearly one we have. Um, but I think these are pretty cool. Well, let's take a look at the Rescue at Midnight Castle. And the first one we're gonna take a look at is Twilight. And I love this one with her little blue ribbon. so cute i love her stars and this particular look became the inspiration for twilight sparkles mom in g4 lovely <laughs> she's so cute 
I think these guys are so much fun. And we have Medley here, and I love Medley. She was one of my favorites. I had a thing for the Flutter Ponies. They were my favorite ponies. Flutter Ponies were my favorite. When I saw them in the movie, I couldn't believe it. They were the coolest things. Um, but I really liked the Pegasus ponies that were the baby ponies. Baby Pegasus ponies were my favorite baby ponies. And I loved the ponies that were green or had green hair. Even though my favorite color is blue, um, I always really loved them. And she was one of my favorites because she was so green. Green hair, green body, green cutie mark. And her cutie mark is the little music notes and her bow is on upside down Ugh, rude look at her little tail now that doesn't look very green it looks actually very blue so cute and i love this pose this takeoff pose really 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 cute And we have Applejack. Oh, I remember Applejack from this movie. And my favorite part of Applejack was when she was walking across the bridge and fell into the river, into the river and met the sea ponies. And of course, sea ponies are one of my favorite kind of ponies. I loved them. I don't have very many growing up. Sea ponies weren't easy to find for me. I was born in 87, so I came into My Little Pony a little late. Um, really, I guess, I mean, I was getting them when I was little because my mom grew up on a farm and she had uh, horses. And so when I would go visit my mom's mom, uh, we would go down around the farm and visit the cows and the horses and the different things like that. Um, and so horses were my favorite animal growing up. Uh, and then I really loved uh, like playing with toys in the bathtub. And so my mom thought that these My Little Ponies would be pretty cool because they could go in the bathtub and they were horses and they were different colors and stuff like that. So that's why she started buying them. And uh, the Midnight Castle one was just amazing. I remember those sea ponies and I always wanted one. I only had one my entire life and we found her at a rummage sale and I've never, ever, ever run across another uh, sea pony again. Uh, in the real world, in the wild, whatever you want to call it. So I always think of the sea ponies when I think of Applejack. Aww, so cute. And Moon Dancer, I love her cutie mark with the little silver moon and the little red stars. And that silver is, can you see like the shine to it? It's got a metallic to it, really cool. And a little blue bow, so pretty. She was a really cool color combination. And bow tie. And I love bow tie because I really enjoyed bow tie's color combination. This dark pink and the dark blue. You don't really see a lot of dark colored ponies. Both these guys were really dark in color compared to My Little Pony as it moved forward, I would say. Um, so I really liked these for their unique darker colors. I'm glad that their eyes don't look all like weird and funky. So cute. Oh, I love these. And last but not least, we do have Firefly, my first My Little Pony from G1. And her tail is really wonky. Look at how, like, ooh, look at underneath the, the knot. And she's got a funny mark on her foot. Do all these guys have weird marks on their feet like that? 
Mm -mm. I didn't think I saw any writing on the bottom of their feet. No, nope, just her. <laughs> and that's just really, 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 really knotted up into her bow. I wonder if this is put on and then sewed onto it while it's on the tail. We'll take this little 40th anniversary. Try and grab some of these and brush them out. That's better. <laughs> Her tail's a little crazy because I wonder how long these were in these packages. Like, how long ago were they made and just stored in packaging and until they were released to stores or whatever. So her hair is a little wonky, but that's fine. She's been flying. She's lucky it even has any like curl to it. I mean, it's always gotta be wind blown a little for her. <laughs> Super cute. I love, love, love Firefly. So cute. Well, there you have it. We've taken a look at the Rescue at Midnight Castle Collector's Edition, Little Figures, and the Pearlized Blossom and Cotton Candy with the Mini Pearlized Glory, all in celebration of My Little Pony's 40th anniversary. Which one of these was your favorite? Have you gotten the other one of these? And do you plan on it if you haven't gotten one? As a My Little Pony collector, I really like these for my collection. I love seeing the characters and the situations and the stories from Generation 1 being brought out. Something that I always wanted when I was little was I always wanted to see the Grundles. I always wanted to see the witches. Uh, and... I always wanted to see the Moochick. I would love it if we could have some dolls of the witches, a Moochick figure, some Grundles figures. I would love to see some of those characters. Grundles were great. Well, thanks so much for hanging out today and checking out all these My Little Ponies with me and reminiscing about our My Little Pony memories as we grew up. Go ahead and leave me some comments down below about your favorite My Little Ponies from Generation 1. Some of your memories of growing up with My Little Ponies. Who was your first one to get? Do you remember Rescue at Midnight Castle? Was it something that you watched and enjoyed? I know I was super excited when Tyrick came to G4 because I knew exactly who he was. Well, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and... Click the notification bell so you don't miss the next time we open a cool My Little Pony toy. And if we aren't friends yet, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and stick around. Until next time, bye!